Welcome back to another episode. We are going to dive into Dragon Age, the Bell Guard, and we are coming at it with a faction and region quest line. It's going to be kind of a double dip situation where we are helping the Impeded Crows along with um, helping Tosh, who is our newly found Dragon Hunter, in her faction of Lords of Fortune. So, we're going to help Lords of Fortune figure out. Um, where the crows of Treviso went as they were helping each other with supplies, but something happened along the Rivian course coast, so we need to get in there. So we're gonna take Tosh and one other companion, and we're gonna head over to the Ravine, and we're going to figure out what happened. And if we have time, we're gonna check out the Hall of Valor. So that's what to expect in this episode. And as always, if you're new around here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. My name is Sig. I am normally a, a live streamer, but we're doing a lot of YouTube exclusive of playing Dragon Age Velgard and uploading. So if you haven't watched the other episodes prior to this, there should be a, a or there should have been, if not, there is one a tab up in the top right of the screen that you can click on to watch the previous episode, or you can go to my channel or scroll the way to the end and check out the playlist at the end. Without further ado, we are playing Belgard. I'll be showing hidden treasures that you know may or may not be known to others. It's the blind playthrough, simply put. I've not played this game. I have not watched anybody else. And I'm not researching it. I'm going in purely based upon the knowledge of playing all the other Dragon Age, trying to find these treasures and um, solving puzzles and whatnot. Without further ado, for gold and glory is the quest line. We are hopping into it right now. Sit back, enjoy, take a break from reality and being an adult, and let's enjoy taking a break and relax. So without further ado, here it's for Golden Glory. So, Tosh, Lords of Fortune, you're treasure hunters, right? Yep. And that includes ruins? Elven ruins? Yep. I see. Okay. Sure. Okay. Good hit! 
These are the crows that were supposed to be picking up supplies. Looks like they were ambushed. So, those artifacts you find, you sell them? Some of them. The rest go to Shiv. Who's Shiv? Elven guy. He's from a Dalish clan that works with us. A clan works with you? Yeah. Shiv makes sure we don't sell anything sacred to your people. I... Uh... Huh.
All right. Some kind of puzzle with torches or fires or something. Make a treasure out of it. Yep. Seems like you're never far from the wa water in Ravine, one way or another. Got it. I will do that puzzle on another time. Looks like the Antom got the supplies that were meant for the crows. We need to get those supplies back and pay back the Antom. Examines ancient elven artifacts you find? Yeah. Tells us what not to sell because it's cultural. Or because it might blow up. How does he know? He's the... Thing. What's the word? Like, my mother, but for elf stuff. He's the keeper for the Dalish clan? And the Lords of Fortune listen to him? Yeah. He pays us a finder's fee on stuff that should stay with his people. He also gives us a heads up about which floor tiles will set off fire traps or something.
Gotcha. Watch yourself. Trouble coming. <laughs> Doors sealed, but those the figures next to it look different. Might be a clue for how to open it.
Let's see if it burns. Can't do this without a wisp. coming. Let's see what you got. One of the crow's prisoner. She's still alive. They're down. The Antom kept me alive so they could use me to trick Ravain into sending more supplies. I didn't think anyone was coming. The Lords of Fortune wouldn't abandon you. It's the least we could do for the crows. Thank you for your timely arrival. I'll get the supplies to Treviso, and pay back the Antarm there. Hey. Some for you. Some for you. Hey. Don't be a dick. That was for the little one. Stupid birds. I wasn't expecting... What? I don't know. You with the birds. It's... This is fun. Oh. Good. Can I help? Sometimes I practice with the fire out here. It's safer. No people around. Lots of water. Is it magic or...? It's not magic. My mother says the Kunara used to be closer to dragons. Something in our blood. The Antom called you Adari. Yeah. Old Kunari word for fire breather. A few like me are born every generation. My mother thinks Adari were meant for something special. 
She's always looking through the old texts for clues. Come on. Don't want to scare the birds. My mother left the Kuhn not far from here. She got herself transferred to Kantar from Parvalin. Smuggled me there and then walked out. I thought Kantar was well fortified. How did she escape with a child? Lacune is in a prison. People can leave if they want. You little guys hungry? Do you miss living under the Kuhn? Not much to miss. I was a baby. My mother misses it. She was in Ashkari back then. A scholar. Why'd she leave? Me. There's enough for all of you. Shathan was worried about what the Kanari would do with a fire breather like me. What would they do? She said they'd have me put in the Antom, use me as a berserker. The idea scared her enough that she left her library and walked away from the Kuhn. Come on. Over here's where I practice. Why not on the beach? The birds just ate. Scare them any more than you already did and they'll be crapping everywhere. What the crap is that? The Antom must be marking their territory. Not on my beach. Vashvatari! Come on. These banners need to burn. Hit it, Tosh. Nice. What does it feel like when you breathe fire like that? It's more like spitting. Ew. Something inside my throat opens up and lets stuff mix together. Then there's this rush of heat as I roar it out. I'm surprised it doesn't hurt your mouth to do that. It can. One time my tongue got in the way. Got a mouthful of fire. Ouch. Eh, didn't hurt much. My mother has to make food extra spicy so I can taste it. I guess that's the trade-off for being a fire breather. It's fine. I smell stuff better than most people. An Antom supply cache. Too bad it's locked up. Not for long. Watch. I'm on it. Wow. It burned right through it. Yep. Melt some metals, not all. How'd you figure out which kinds of metals you could melt? My mother said I went through a lot of spoons as a baby. This way. More birds to feed? Something like that. Garage. It's Tosh. I brought food. Avatosh. It's good you came early. The feather clouds are getting lower. It's going to rain. Who is this with you? This is Rook. He's a friend. A friend? All right. Make sure you both dress for rain. Drip rain, not mist rain. What's the difference between drip rain and mist rain? Drip rain soaks through the clothes. Mist rain just wets the skin. Sorry, I don't know all the words in your language. No, I get it. Karash was a worker caste navigator. Got dragged along with the Antam when they invaded. They told us it was ordered by the Kuhn. I was not taught war. I was taught the weather. Red clouds for thunder. Gray clouds for rain. Green clouds for the devouring storm. And black clouds for the Antam cannons. After what they did in Ventus, I ran away. I am sorry the Antom did that to you. I do not have my old life or work, but I remember who I am. The Antom have lost even that. You saw their banners? 
They're in the area. I will not be seen. Okay. Let me know if they bother you. I am at peace, Avatash. I have the clouds to watch and fish to eat. More than just fish. Here you go. Shathan said to eat the fruit before it spoils. I like the cookies better. Everyone likes the cookies better. I'll eat the fruit. Thank you, Avatash. Panahe done. I'll see you soon. So, the dragon hunter has a softer side. The Kuhn says you take care of people. So, you're a little Kunari, a little Rivani, and a little dragon? Yeah. I get that. Come on. I should tell my mother how Karash is doing. So, how do you get it? I left my old life behind to live in the necropolis with the Mornwatch. Then I had to leave that to help stop Solus. So you take what works from each part, right? I... Yeah. I had to take Kunari language classes growing up. I had to learn how to tie these stupid knots. It wasn't so bad when the Kunari and Ravain were at peace. Now the Antom have broken from the Kuhn and started attacking. People look at me like they're scared I'll switch sides. That's their loss. People who have only ever been one thing will never know how big the world is. Yeah, maybe. Mother, what are you doing here? You used to call me Tama. I also used to wet the bed. Want me to start that up again? I'd rather you didn't. Not that it's my business. She's not in my... She always did like the flustered ones. In truth, Evitasha's tastes are quite varied. Although it is uncommon for her to be attracted to men. Mother. Perhaps because in some ways, she acts more like a man herself. Why are you here? I came to ask Karash about the tablet your group recovered. I wondered if some of the symbols might be used among the Antom. Be gentle. Don't make him talk about the war. I see the wisdom of your suggestion. I also see that you used your fire again. Chakra Toebra. Chakra Toebra. Remember to keep your consonants crisp. Kunari do not slouch, and neither does our language. Panahedan, Evitash. You did well bringing Karash his food. Sorry. She's like that. So it's uncommon for you to be interested in men, but not unheard of? Huh. Well, thanks for coming. We should get back. Thanks for having me along. Maybe we can do this again. Right? Yep. There you have it. Um, two uh, Ravani quest lines. One for Tosh, or both are technically for Tosh, and we get to see a background. Um, please remember if you're new to this channel, or you've been around for a bit, we don't do the whole politics or religious content. Or content. I know a 
one thing I saw a lot when this game was in beta or was launching was there's a lot of politically charged segments of this. I don't know if that's one of them. I kind of see it, but I don't care. It's a game. Enjoy it. It's full face value. If you have a problem with it, don't play the game. I, don't care. I, I really don't. Oh, regardless what side of the aisle you on, I don't. Um, so, this is the first one I was like, ooh, I think this is probably where the where the issues were. But again, it's a video game, and it's doing a really good job storytelling right now, and we find out more about Tosh. Um, so, yeah. stay tuned for the next episode. I believe. Let me see. I believe we will do. We'll probably just stick to the signs and portrait portents, which is the main storyline. Um, which the next chapter is where the dead must go. We'll likely go on to that one. I don't know if I'm going to video or if I'm going to record the rest of doing this warden uh, puzzle. I haven't decided. We will see if it happens. It'll be up here. If it doesn't, sorry. Because it seems like it's going to be a very lengthy puzzle that I'm going to have to run around a lot for. I just don't see a worth in that. Um, that many people would sit through and be like, oh my god, this was so useful. So, we'll see. But um, until next time, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in, hanging out, and chilling out with me today. I do greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to get notified. You do need to have the bell icon on and you will get alerted every time a new video or live stream gets um activated on my channel so without further ado thank you take care stay safe stay healthy and have a wonderful rest of your day i hope to see you on the next dragon age bell guard episode so take care